am Jitendra Sharma, bringing to, uh, to you a story from 6th standard, uh, chapter number 2 of Friendly Mongoose, from the supplement reader, Attack with the Sun. Here we are uh, coming to the story, and this is a story taken from the tales of Parsantra. Parsantra is a collection of stories from uh, Indian tales and it is a collection collected by Vishnu Dutt of uh, India. Now, uh, as we see in the story, there was a farmer and he had a family, he had a wife and a son and they were living in a village and they had a son, he was very <coughs> pretty but one day the farmer thought that their son must have a companion. Companion means the person with whom he can spend more and more time friend you can say yes then he thought the farmer thought when their son will grow up he will need a companion he will need a friend so with this his wife was like this idea one day he thought about this and brought a tiny mongoose you know mongoose it is a small animal hmm? uh, it's a baby mongoose his wife was also happy and but Farmer said that how soon the both the mongoose and their son will be fully grown and they can they will be very good company to each other. Both after some time both the baby mongoose and the baby of the farmer grow grew. In five or six months the mongoose was fully grown. It was it has in full size a lovely animal with two shining black eyes and it had a bushy tail, furry tail, you can say. The farmer's son was still a baby in the cradle and his mother used to rock him. You know rock? Rock means uh, to move something here backward and forward in direction. That is rocking. So the baby was uh, used to sleep in the cradle but the mongoose was fully grown. One day and the farmer's wife wanted to go to the market to purchase some groceries from the market and she told her husband that she is going to market and he has to be careful about the, their son and he had to look at the mongoose also but uh, because she was afraid to leave a child alone, her child alone with the mongoose but farmer uh, convinced him that mongoose is a friendly animal it is not going to do any harm with their son but farmer's wife went away and the farmer, he doesn't have anything to do at his home. He went towards, in his, went to his neighbors to meet his friends, and it took some time to return. Meanwhile, when farmer was outside, farmer's wife finished her shopping and returned to her home. A basket with a basket full of groceries. She had purchased a lot of things and all but put it. In. She put all the things in the basket. When she came to the house, she saw the mongoose in front of the door and when she saw her it was very customary for the mongoose whenever she used to come to her home the mongoose used to run to the uh, farmer's wife or farmer whenever whoever returned to home when farmer's wife looked at the mongoose she screamed because she saw some drops of the blood on his paws and his face was uh, smeared with the blood she thought that the mongoose had killed her baby and she cursed the mongoose that you wicked animal you killed my baby she behaved hysterically hysterically we can say uh, without absence in complete absence of uh, consciousness we see uh, treated like this blind in the rage she struck the baby struck the mongoose with full of her strength and the mongoose died quickly and then she uh, ran into the rushed into the house to see her baby. When she came there, she saw that her baby was fast asleep. But on the floor, there was a big snake that which was bleeding. In a flash, in a flash, she realized that what had happened. She ran out for looking the mongoose. She came to know that the mongoose did not kill her baby, but he saved her baby and killed the snake and saved her baby from the snake and she was very uh, we can say sad about on the death of the mongoose and she was saying what I have done and she was crying but mongoose was dead 
and when the farmer came, he told her husband that how uh, stupidly she had behaved. He she acted in hastily and killed the savior of her child. Now, wiping her tears, she went to her feed her baby. But it this story tells us that we should have always have patience. We should not act hastily, and we should not be always wasteful and doubtful to anybody. Without any proof, okay. But this chapter is also uh, telling this story, uh, moral to us because all the Vasantra stories have some moral in it, something to learn that is useful in our life, and we can always utilize it in our life. In this story, the uh, new set of vocabulary is used like companion, uh, rocking, rocking, rock means to move backward and forward something or to make somebody to move. Backward and forward again and again. Okay. And rage. Rage means something violent in anger. Oh, somebody, when somebody becomes violent in anger, we can say he is in rage. He is blind with rage. Groceries. So, all of these biblical words, we will uh, go through these words in reading material of this chapter. Thank you. Have a nice day.